this thing f***ing recording? Oh, it is recording. Okay, so, oh, we're a little zoomed in there. Today, that guy's got no helmet on. <laughs> Chippewa, Ontario, the motorcycle guys are so hardcore, they don't need helmets. Um, welcome back, it's been a while. Finally got the chicken fence for the uh, garden. My wife was just giving me shit because we've only got 20 minutes. So, here's the chicken fence we're getting. Now, it's only 24 gauge, but uh, I'm hoping it's gonna keep the uh, critters out anyways. Yeah, so hopefully we get a few years out of it. So, I'm gonna take this out of the back of the truck, go meet the family over there. And uh, get after it. <laughs> so, start at the top here, you're thinking? Yeah, and then go all the way down, and then we can. So we're off to the races. My wife and I just rolled out 100 feet. Yeah, they're 100 feet long. 24 gauge chicken wire. So, like I was saying, we went around. I'll show you guys. It's really tough to see this chicken fence. It's so small, right? Went around, it's really easy with two people. I rolled it all out, kind of in 10 foot ch chunks there. And uh, my wife pulled it tight, I stapled the top. And then I came back and I pulled down and away and stapled the bottoms, keep it decently tight. You know, it's decent. And I've got my little overhang, like I was saying in the previous video, so I'm gonna pile more dirt on here, and then rocks on the other side, and I'm hoping that keeps the critters out, but everyone's telling me not to get my hopes up. So yeah, we're gonna uh, actually unravel another 100 feet, and we're gonna tackle the top, which I think is gonna be a bit more difficult. But uh, let's have a look. Well, it's definitely easier two people, <laughs> but I'm seeing, I'm managing anyways. You just really gotta pull it tight, hit it with the staples. Um, it's kind of working out the way I planned it with the underhang and the overhang. Whether that helps or not, I don't know, but yeah, can it's, it's a one person job, you know, if you want to struggle or two person job if you want to fly at it and get her done. Anyhow, let's keep uh, let's keep going here. Well, that galvanized fence will chew your hands up pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm just killing it out here. Um, with the help of my wife, of course. Uh, I've gotten it all the way around. I'm exactly, exactly halfway done now. So I'll just quickly do a little buzz by the tower here. Show you guys. So this is the end of my um, chicken fence. Um, obviously, so that's the end of my 100 foot roll. So 100 feet went all the way around there. I stapled it on the top, bottom, pretty good. I might go back and square it up a little bit, but this is the general idea. You know, with this stuff, such a small gauge wire fence, if you want to get the waves out of it, you can kind of just 
get up, tug on it a little bit and jam a couple more staples in up top there. But I think it's actually pretty, pretty straight for the most part. I mean, we're not going for perfect here, that's for sure. I got my little bit of an overhang, which I, I think I'll end up pushing it over like that. I don't know, just to keep it all uniform. It almost looks like we're uh, in some sort of friggin' prison. <laughs> um, yeah, and I got the underneath there, about a foot like I thought. So I'm gonna have the dirt in there like I was saying. So I think now what I'll do is um, I'll head inside and spend some time with the uh, wife and kid. Got a Gatorade into me, or possibly an adult pop. And I'll come back later. All right, all fueled up. Got the approval from the wife just to keep on giving her. So I'm gonna roll out the other 100 feet times two. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need some rain boots. <laughs> if you're wondering, we are still dealing with a whole pile of mud out here on the homestead. All right, well, whoa. GoPro died on me, as per usual. <laughs> um, well, you get the idea. I just went by. I've got the top and bottom layers on, I'll show you. Just this uh, chicken netting here. That's all the excess I had wrapped up. I've still got to build uh, the gate, so it's going to basically be, well, whatever the distance is, cut in half. Two, uh, open, it's going to open this way, two doors, they'll be on little wheels once I build this up. and get it nice and solid so that chicken fence will have to also go on the door so I'll just cut it flush there and uh, whatever I got left over I should have enough to make the doors so that's the general idea pretty straightforward I do have to come by and really make sure I've got staples in the middle so no critters get up and inside but you know they're gonna come in when they want to come in so all I can do is try my best I'm not gonna waste a whole pile of time trying to keep the uh, rodents out. This took me, you know, an afternoon anyways, but I think it looks pretty good. It looks kind of like prison, but keeping these here veggies locked up. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for this little uh, little vlog. Not much going on right now. I'm just going to wash the uh, galvanized steel off my hands and uh, get ready for some chicken dinner. All right, take care. How's my hair look? Looking good. New haircut. <laughs>